Hello and- oop, that's not me. That's more like it. Hello and welcome back, everyone. We are here playing Millennia. Continuing to play Millennia. Oh, oop, that's not me. Uh, that's oh, we don't like that. Hello and welcome back, everyone. We hate we the Echo. playing Millennia. Terrible. Continuing to play Millennia. Oh. Alright, there we go. Terrible. Alright, so, hello, everyone. We are back. We are in the Age of Intolerance, hence the stream title. And we are continuing on. We saw a little bit of some other people playing who had gotten into deeper ages, and there's like tons and tons of goods in deeper ages, which leaves me pretty excited. I think that... Oh, so, I've been having a blast playing the game, uh, and I think that... Uh, how should I say this? I think that the AI is probably pretty weak, and they adjust with it by buffing the, uh, buffing the AI a ton, and that this is probably an area of, for improvement and this sort of thing. However, the game systems themselves, like the underlying philosophy underneath the game systems, I really, really like. Where we are, you know, expanding stuff and there's a lot of axes upon which we can do various things that has downstream effects that seem pretty robust. Um, and so, some stuff might be overtuned a little bit. We feel like we're really strong uh, at this point in time, but... Um, also incredibly small sample size and so it's very very likely that we're we're incorrect hey joshua how's it back for more yeah basically we weren't planning on streaming anymore but then i booted up the game and then i was like maybe i'll play just a little bit off stream and then i was like i can't do that because like this is the stream save file right and i was just gonna play without everyone else um which to be fair is like way more chill playing with uh like just by yourself well it's a different type of chill it's like the hangout chill is different than the uh, the chill where I'm not talking at all and I'm just vibing is more- is a different type of chill, yeah. But we're back without anything that's caffeinated, that's just water. <laughs> I know you guys are always beverage curious. You'll be curious. But we are in the Age of Intolerance, and let's end the turn. Which we had completed. I think that... Hmm, I think we end up leaving one army kind of in the south here. Um, maybe right there. This army is going to find the enemy. Hmm, we have a ton of excess of this. So, I suppose what we should do is we should go and we should look at every single city and be like, okay, is this city using uh, its thing? And so it is... Uh, are they using any, um, not very good people? You know what, also, the fact that we can export double of something, Trevorium. <coughs> so right now we're sending them paper, but what we could do is we could instead send them wood, or we could just export, straight up export wood to Trevorium, uh, and use the paper ourselves. Uh, let's see what's going on in Trevorium. Are we... See, the problem in Trevorium, I think that, yeah, we're utilizing all the workers already. <coughs> what was this that we saw? We, uh, conversion is unmet. Why? Or are we just not operating the building? Hmm. Try upgrading this because it's currently being used, and this because it's currently being used, and this. And now we're producing an excess of these things. I think one of these is coming in from... Hmm. The zone out versus engage with the friends, basically. This is the, the major distinction. Plus, like, uh, the pace of play is also going to be a lot different, you know? Okay, we'd love to make our own food here. Um, I mean, I think we are going to make another logging camp, but then I think that we're done with the logging camps, making new ones. Um, I mean, the tobacco... <coughs> if we gather it... If we get this... Okay, so this gives us some food, which we wouldn't mind having here. So let's build a large plantation, maybe. And now we're not working any of these anymore, and we're growing at a decent pace. All right, so let's find a new one, a new city. Again, we're just kind of looking at this bottom row. 
trying to figure out, is there anyone who needs to be working better tiles? So I don't see any here. Don't see, ooh, we see one down here in Persepolis. So coming in here, we can do something a little bit more efficient. And to be fair, I think we want to make paper anyways. So. I don't know if we have a specialization on this. We have a wood specialization on that. Um, why don't we make some paper here? So we'll come in and we will set this to woodwork, paper maker. I don't think we need this saw pit because we have a plenty of iron here. So let's go paper maker. And then now we have paper and we don't have any workers unused. The thing is, is, hmm. Oh, maybe we should have made a bakery. Oh, we're not even uber maxed food. We should have made a bakery. That's fine. We'll want the, the food thing eventually. So we'll put in cooking and we'll make an oven. Another oven. And so now we've completely used those guys up. We're at plus 200%. So we're cruising. Nikomedia. Wow, we don't have a single one working a base tile. We don't have a single pop working a base tile in an entire country now. And we still have a ton left over here. Now, I do think we're producing... Uh, we're levying work. Oh, we're, are we not levying workers here? What about here? Are we levying workers? Bro, if we're not levying workers... No, we're not even levying workers. How are we just getting so much of this? How are we just getting 39? We're just getting a ton from the regions. Holy shit. Alright. Oh, is it because we switched over to Empire, maybe? Hmm. I think maybe we'll come in here and then we'll look to just fortify up. Scouting with this fishing ship, not the best. Oh, but you know what? We can come over here and work that tile. Perfect. We have something for them to do. This is our split, guys. And then Nicomedia's idol. We'll give them our uni. And now let's end the turn. Hey, Lowling, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How you be? How's it doing? <coughs> I could have sworn there was something down here that we needed to take out. Maybe there's not, in which case we'll maybe bring these guys up back to the capital-ish region. I think that we'll continue to move. Wow, we have a ton of gold too, we can even rush like multiple cultures. It just feels like we're popping off. Okay, let's do this, get tolerance. Um... Well, maybe we want to be aggressively claiming territory now. Like, we can spend a couple and push in and grab stuff from people. Be aggressive about it. Um... So you gather... I do think we want to walk in on the, the mausoleum though. Okay, but here... Let's have one of you guys disembark. Hopefully this is... They're transporting a settler. Okay, we want the, not the settler to disembark.
methinks. Yeah, but we'll get to scout that a little bit. I think we're coming over to here. To settle in the land of the bountiful fishes. Um, I think that... Hmm. Here might be a really good place for a town, because it could be a fishing town and have three adjacencies. So if we wanted a town here, then maybe we make the settlement up there? Something like this. You have to restart again? Eighth round, let's go. What happened, Asper? What happened? Alright, 1498D. Culture power is ready. I wonder if we can cycle... Okay, so we're... We need... Hmm. Is there a way for us to get more government? I don't think so. And here we'll probably want to create a town. Oop, I guess we had to go this way. Well, before we go this way, let's at least scout this out. Yeah, I don't think we want a city over here. I mean, we could, but let's not. I think this guy's gonna re be responsible for playing police over there. Um... We have, what are we doing on the furnaces? Okay, we're just making some. <laughs> we're not turning those into any higher tier goods yet. I guess. I mean, I guess we get ready to fight uh, up here even. A little bit of a showdown with Brazil probably. Because we have so many merchants in Brazil. That'll kill our income if we do that. Maybe we could get them to leave? No. And they are a different religion than us. So do be like that. Speaking of... Adopt a religion. Target a capital city with a population that follows a religion to adopt it as your nation's state religion. I don't think we want to do that. But we could spread Hinduism over here. I think we'll... We saw that we have this. So we know that Hinduism is spreading, and spreading faster than Islam. Was doing well and took on Russia. Chaos ensues and spawns three waves of barbarian generals back home. Oof. Yeah, trying to keep an eye on this bar is probably important. <coughs> I think if we didn't have this going on, we would... Um, if our innovation wasn't about to reset, I think we would use our culture there for that. But it is. Alright, Persepolis has two out of two, these one out of two, two out of two. We're looking at the this the region or the where we can make a town. You know what we could do? Is we could buy a couple tiles here and make a town right here, next to LA. With this guy. Be kind of a little bit abusive, I think, but... We could buy... Well, up to here, even. Would be a nice-ish place for a town. <coughs> Do I like this more than Civ 6? Uh, I would rather be playing this right now than Civ 6. Um, I don't know if I'd say I'd like it more than Civ 6. It's it's hard to tell. I think that... 
I think this game is rough around the edges and Civ 6 is really polished. Um, and Civ 6 has a huge modding community. I don't know. That's a tough one. <coughs> also, I think that this game's probably, like, horribly unbalanced. Um, so it's tough to tell. Probably, I, th I mean, I definitely think Civ 6 is probably a better game if I'm, like, if I have to answer, like, uh, in an immediate fashion. Um... I think I think I want to put a either here or here a town. And just buy a bunch of tiles. Oh, I don't need to do that here. Let's do this. Create town right here. Pompeii. <laughs> that bodes just fine for Pompeii. And then... Um, yeah, that should work. Alright, we make a Colosseum in Alexandria. I guess we could make Grand Theater Arts Experience. Or... Let's actually buy... More research. This was always the plan. To eventually bu start buying a lot more research. Isn't this just Civ 6 but Paradox? It's not made by Paradox. It's published by Paradox. It's made by C-Prompt Games. I'm curious what makes them want to make those types of relationships where they're not the ones... <coughs> Sorry, throat's just scratchy. <coughs> um, let's just keep going. I'm gonna make a settlement somewhere over here. These guys are recovering up. I don't know if. I don't know if ships can travel into the thing. I don't think they can. I think they could have to be produced at the dock. One of these days, that thing will be dead. Um, I think we need 180 Govix speed to incorporate, so I think we're just ending turn here. Looks like we pip attack. I think it's smelting, right? So that might change some things for us. <coughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Ah oh yes, we get to do yeah, improvements and then sanitation and religion. Got it, perfect. Okay, so benevolence is our first outing here. I think we do want guilds. Well, let's get the one... Well, do we even want anything in the one turn construction? Actually, let's continue with this as planned. And then I think that we're going to pull back on Alexandria. Uh and make some of the buildings. Lifting tower. We don't really need that stuff right now, but I think we do want the water fountains. Pretty bad. And what can get upgraded here? What is this? Public quarters? Ah. To alms house. What's this gonna give? More unrest and more ha housing. And it can be worked for religious stuff. So, if this place is not at full housing, maybe we upgrade. This place is not at full housing. So, we upgrade. This place is at full housing, so we don't need to. Is at full housing. 
Full housing, full food. So we're chilling. I don't think we want the extra unrest. This also kind of makes it so that I think at some point we might destroy that. I guess it's unnecessary. Hmm. Huh. I think this is a good place for a town. So I think we want the city here. Or further inland, like over here. But I think we want to get all this fish going. I think we'll attack Brazil when we have an another timing window. Slums for the slumlord, hell yeah, brother. The, the, so there's like a brand of lubricant that just has the most unhinged name in my opinion, and it's called Zero Tolerance. And that inspired the stream name, because we're in the age of intolerance, Zero Tolerance, yeah. Okay, we could do these and keep these things growing at a pretty good clip, I think. Let's also come in and maybe take a look at uh, some of the workforces of these places again. Again, just trying to make sure that we have, like, so Nicomedia has grown, and we can do some stuff here. We have a ton of logging as well. Um, we do have some olive oil. A ton of logging. So we have a paper maker. We're exporting the paper. Maybe we stop? So let's maybe switch this to logs, actually. Let's export logs. Uh, and instead, we'll take our paper in Nicomedia and we'll make paper mache. No. Hmm. I think we're gonna buy a tile here. Yeah, this was, this was always the problem. <coughs> okay, we could build over the cotton plantations. I think that soon we can... We can remove some of the wood, to be honest. But maybe we just go here and we build a paper thing. Oh, they could use some food. God, I wish... I hate that I can't split Persephilus' food for and ship it to two places. Hmm. I guess we're fine with it producing wealth, but... I mean, we can make another port. I don't think that does anything for us, though. more of these wood tiles. We really gotta chop these things out. Maybe we just leave it. It's not the end of the world. It just feels bad when we have so much improvement points. Slums for the slum lord. They send us gifts. We just have so much of these points now. It feels like, yeah, it feels like we're just super, super strong relative to where we were before. I wish that we didn't have to click on that. Okay, let's come here. And I guess we need more, whatever it's called. And then let's unload from transport everyone here. Just unload from transport here. Not looking to get ganked. These guys have recovered enough. We're just gonna take this out. Also, we want to kind of explore more of our continent. <clears throat> Social fabric wildcard. 
kind of feeling that. It's only 10 chaos. That doesn't seem too bad. And chaos will reset, so... Uh, maybe we don't need much more ingenuity, because we're overflowing on this stuff, and we could just get more research costs down. Expansion costs going down, too, seems fine. Let's do that. Especially because that's kind of what's slowing us down a little bit, I think. We want to incorporate Uppsala. What's Uppsala? You might ask. This Uppsala. Three turns. We won't even have enough of the points by then, but... Yeah, so maybe we don't- maybe claim territory a whole bunch of those was a mistake. It's pretty funny though, that we just have that with Pompeii. Expanding borders on Persepolis is nice. So, plus one warfare experience from religious tract goods. Let's do that. We're gonna reject the alliance, and we're gonna use this to get Cutting Edge. Which right now we're only getting four innovation. And then when we get Cutting Edge, it brings it up to 14. Um, and then it gets, you know, cut by 70% every time we fill the bar, or every time we trigger an event. I think we wanted to go settle here. We're considerably stronger than them, so that's fine. But the AI seems to also maybe just like only build units and not really focus on expansion that well. I think you're coming up. We think we maybe want you from Erbarakum. So we'll need another army for there. Do we have an army just chilling somewhere? I think we do. We have, these are the chill boards. We'll bring these guys here. The chill boys. And these guys will come here. To be fair, this cavalry army actually should be down here to deal with nuisances. Instead of these guys. Cavalry army makes a lot more sense as the nuisance one. So maybe we do that next turn. I actually kind of like the combat better than Civ combat. It doesn't give you as much opportunities to just abuse the AI, is my feeling. Which is my general concern. So AI is, like, generally kind of bad. Maybe we could mix in the cavalry with all these units, though. We have a uh, full stack. And we could mix the cavalry around. Uh, well, this isn't a full stack. There, there's... Is this an almost full stack and then this will be one short but we have a crossbowman here looks like we're gaining some of disloyalty or whatever I'm gonna be gaining a little bit more so why don't we build a city guard And following that, maybe a market? Slums for the slumlord. Why is our religion Buddhist? You mean Hindu? Review of the game? I think the game's a lot of fun. I think it's probably pretty poor balanced. I'm not sure if that will detract on future playthroughs. I think playing through it 
and looking at some of the systems and tinkering with the systems has been a great deal of fun. There's like a lot of overlapping things, a lot of like different directions to go. It feels like every, at least at the very start, it feels like every start is substantively different. Um, so I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Graphics are terrible, but you can tell that just by looking at it. We are gaining some more unrest here, so we're gonna also check in with what we're building. And we're going to queue up next as City Guardsmen. And why don't we just kind of cruise through and look through everyone's unrest. Also, the UI is a little bit um, not super friendly at start, so... Here, let's see. We're looking through to see if there are places that are using uh, labor not uh, in a building. And we will find them better jobs if they are. But I'm very excited for where this game goes. I Like, if this game's gonna get continuous development. Nico Medias uh, just presents a ton of problems for us, really. Until we can clear, cl until we can clear the rocks. Or until we can clear the lumber. Isn't that a tech? Maybe that's the next tech we research. Clear cut? Yeah. So we'll do that after that. Oh, we can't queue up. All right, fair. We'll do navigation first. <coughs> Why is it Hindu? Because I was asking which was closest to Rome, and then I realized you could make an argument for Islam or... Or which was closer to Alexandria. So this is what ha was happening. I was like, oh, our capital's Alexandria. What religion was closest to Alexandria? And then I realized you could say either Islam or Judaism, and I didn't want to pick one of those, so I picked Hindu. Is the game good? We think so, but with, like, pretty heavy asterisk. I don't know if the replayability is going to be good, but I've been enjoying playing it so far a lot. Yeah. Um, there are... I think it's good, but really rough around the edges. Let's put it like that, I guess. Once we get navigation, we'll also be able to use much better boats. Let's do this. Ooh, uh... I mean, we take the innovation, I just wish we hadn't used a Eureka, or used a culture power on innovation. Boats! That's true. Thoughts on the Steam reviews? I think people are, like review bombing it negatively because it didn't have multiplayer on release. Which I think is a uh, somewhat fair perspective, but that's also not something we care about. Or that that's kind of my feeling regarding how I think that they're voting. About. Uh, we kind of want more religious stuff after this, and we're going to have a little bit of difficulty, but we have a logging camp. Right? Do we have paper here yet? We have a paper maker. So all we need to do now is make a religious scribe. So, okay, we could use some more paper, but you know where we can import the paper from? Nicomedia, my guys. We're not using our paper, so why don't we export it to Persepolis? Alexandria's got plenty of luxuries, big nice. Do probably want to send them food at some point. At some point, Ravenna's gonna have to make its own food so that we can, instead of shipping food from Persepolis to there, we can shift it to Alexandria. But that also means we got another pop, so do we have another job we want to fill? 
No, I think we overbuilt the jobs. Ah, right, well, they're working public quarters for plus five. Um... Could make stone blocks. Thought, uh, while well, y'all have friends, <laughs> to just drag in the, t drag in the chat. <laughs> the truth hurts. Uh, I think we go Grand Theater. I mean, we're we're currently accumulating so many lifting points. We could go Grand Theater. Uh. I think that that's going to be good. So 16 seems to be where we will start to need luxuries. We could just front load Persepolis, it's probably going to be the next one to grow. Um, we could just front load this. Or it, I, this will probably have a cooldown even. No it doesn't. And we'll use the artist. Create an artwork good. <coughs> Alright, Alexandria. Yeah, we decided we didn't we probably didn't need that grand theater, so we were just working on getting more tech. <coughs> Do wonders exist? Uh yeah, they kind of exist. Well, we have multiple pyramids. We have one really big pyramid. Um, I think we have the Colossus in the capital. They aren't that wondrous for wonders, I suppose. Um, Alright, we're gonna fortify here. But we're gonna want to hit a timing window on Brazil, I think. To be fair, like, programming AI is, like, really rough, because, like, how would you make an AI, like, be smart enough to do something like a timing window, you know? They're like, okay, I'm gonna attack right when I get this military technology, and I'm gonna prep having that military technology. Like, come on. But, I could even show- I think I could show the wonder. It's just like a, a city building. The Colossus. Only one per nation. Gives us 10 production. It's kind of not really a thing. The wonders being mutually exclusive with other things is like probably not very realistic. I don't know if that's a dev thing uh, philosophically for them. Ravenna. Alright, so what are we... We don't need to upgrade to Fountain just yet. Can we upgrade... You know what? I think we want to upgrade either how fast we're spreading or... I guess we don't hate the, the Emperor's Palace, I think is what we want. Yeah, more Gov XP. It's our major throttle. And I think we can incorporate now this down here, Uppsala. Integrate. And so now... We will have to decide for everything what we want to do with everything. So the scribe, I think we could just destroy this. Just tank the scribe. Yeah. I don't think we like those. Oh, can we only store 300? Let's see. Oh, we can only store 300 of this stuff. Alright. Paper maker, we're probably fine with the paper maker. So let's make the paper. Let's repair that. Probably okay with the furnace. Not sure we like the placement, but that's a thing. Weaver. Do we really like the weaver? I don't know yet. We're gonna rebuild the mine. We're gonna gather mine here. To mine this as well. 
I think we uh, destroy this. And let's see. We're making paper, maybe. I think we'll make a religious scribe instead, so we're fulfilling the need. We have no how our housing needs grossly unmet. So maybe we go alms house. <coughs> and suddenly we have a decent growth. Looks like people are all working inside of stuff. We've got some people on the food camps. So we could also, speaking of, we got multiple people on the food camps because we got two hunting. Then that means that we could make good use of uh, cooking a kitchen, which converts two meat, olives, or sugar into ten food. Why are you war unrest plus eight unrest? Okay. Nine unrest. That's fair enough, but hear me out. All right, this guy should have gone over here. We'll just garrison these guys in Uppsala. What is this? Logging camp? Okay, we'll improve it. We'll improve this one. So if we're making four cotton, then I think we can bring the weaver back. <coughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Hey, Popolop, how's it going? Surprised to see you live at this time. Yeah, we wanted to play. We wanted to play the save file and continue. And then I felt guilty because I didn't want to not stream it. And then we, this is kind of impromptu. From what I've heard from the devs in the past, making good uh, making good AI isn't the problem. The issue is that the average player hated it because they got whooped. Yeah, we got crushed the first three to four times. But it, the problem is you, you want the AI... The difficulty level to be relatively constant and not be like just gr brutal at the start and then like uh, super easy later on. Uh, but like we had, r we really struggled at the beginning because it seems that the AI just spends every resource possible on getting units and is very aggressive. But after that, it just gets wrecked. So, I think maybe we actually get rid of that, but I think that we can do cooking here and then uh, press, because we have now multiple olive oil, right, in Alexandria. Uh, we need some help with the sanitation. Was there a building that gave sanitation? I think there was. Civic trash heap, right? Now our needs are, needs are uber met. And we should be reducing unrest now. Big nice. Alright, we'll... Build those. Fountain in Persepolis. Pervornium, let's upgrade to the fountain. But also, let's just take a look. We can make a trash heap for them too. Ooh, yikes, what's that? Those be boys. Those them boys. Uh, well, I guess these guys are actually the ones who need to deal with that. And so, Uppsala, we will have you construct a couple city guard, actually, to deal with your unrest problem. Oh, looks like they don't like us no more, so they've, they've, they've sent our guys away. What are some of the metas that are developing? Well, apparently, like, raiders early on is very OP. 
Uh, and so we have decided not to do it because we, we, we're under the understanding it's broken. Looks like the U.S. Is, wants to fight Brazil again. Everyone remembers the struggle the United States had against Brazil. The great anti-Brazil fight, which is fine because we're kind of in position here. Looks like they're probably going to sack Pompeii, but we took LA first. That's a sentence I've never thought I would be saying. Alright, so we'll take this. Manus. Alright, so we got a bunch of chaos now, so we're going to start popping chaos events. <clears throat> it's going to take us a while to chill out. Maybe we even... Reduce unrest. Nope, that's to reduce unrest. I think there's an event that reduces chaos. It's like propaganda. They did call us to arms. Here. What are the best manufacturers in the game? Convert X resources to get Y? I think it's not... I think that the game's a little bit more... It's going to depend on your specific situation. But I can tell you that... So, for example, we went God King Dynasty. This game's... All of our capitals plus one limestone, so this meant that early on, we ended up building a bunch of um, uh, stone cutters, which give production and influence, which has was been very, very nice, and also getting us engineering XP. So we've definitely very much enjoyed that. Um, but if, you, if we didn't have God King Dynasty, right, then we would have had to play a bit differently. Homeland started culture bonus into rushing and maintaining local reforms on single integrated wide vassals. Let's upgrade that to a harbor. Where are we building here? Grand Theater. I think after this we do want to build a uh, Carrick. What's this? A weaver? We can upgrade the level? Sure. Looks like we could use Moss Papel. I don't think that means scribe. I think we want that plantation. Midden? Oh, Jesus. I didn't even realize. Um, let's upgrade to Trash Heap. I'm gonna grow at a pretty nice clip there. And then I think we wanted to do... Yeah, so we can chop out for that one city that's having some problems. Whoa, we're gonna eat some, some dirt here. Um, looks like this is actually getting worked, so we're gonna upgrade it. What's this? Yeah, okay. Don't think we want to upgrade that just yet. And these guys... Wait, did we not explore the Aurora? Skip for one turn. Send those guys up. To deal with this. I guess we can run away with this one. Get away safely. But those won't get away safe. Right, we could use a culture power. So, uh, we have been enjoying getting the Eureka, but I think that we don't want the Eureka this time. I think we're going to create a town right here for when we eventually incorporate that. Which does mean we have to clear out the barbs. 
News from abroad, they're at war. We gathered that much. Do we want to unlock Clock Tower? Maybe we want the Clock Tower? Okay, yeah, let's do it. As we're starting to actually need slash want luxuries, we gotta make a trash heap here somewhere. Not used to the UI. There we go. I don't think it matters. Let's work it here. That way we have max sanitation. Get a little bit faster on the ground. Raider Snowball is just next level. Yeah, the Raider's build is what I've been told is just super mega OP. What happens if we accept? Applies Chaos uh, Agnosticism on capital targets uh, times 80% faith for five turns. We have so much gold, let's just pay the gold, man. I'm not sure how bad that is, but... And now it resets a lot of the, the chaos. But if we continue to take cities, we're gonna get some big events. Um... We, so we didn't get our timing window, but... It looks like we're gonna just be able to take Pittsburgh here. They, he might sack Pompeii, but we'll see how that shakes out. Oh yeah, I think we just take it. Actually, I think it takes us two turns. Yeah. Oh, guess not. Pittsburgh! And we're starting to conquer most of the continent here, but there are eight players, so... The continent is not the world. I think we'll get just kind of to it on those guys. I mean, I guess we could send these guys across the sea. The problem is that... Let's actually send them down here to Nicomedia, where we're gonna get our, like, first galley. And this road he leads somewhere, right? It leads to Reims, which we are going to ream. And so this gives us a whole bunch of chaos, so the bar will fill up really quick. We'll get a negative event, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Looks like they're helping us clear out. That's good. Not sure where we should put this guy. Why don't we remove him over here? I thought we hadn't done that event yet, but we had. Looks like our explorer can hold these guys off. Or even beat them. So we'll just do this. I guess we could bring the cab down here. Yeah, let's maybe bring the cab down. These guys are quick. And are better suited to this snuffing out barbarians business. So we'll bring the cab down to deal with this as well. Region idle. So we have new buildings. We have some new buildings that we can build, but this place hasn't built a lot of the good buildings that we already want. The place that has a ton of fish. Stores give a little construction speed, so I think we'll go with this. A little tempting to get a Carrick out of there, though. Even buying a Carrick. Uppsala has got a lot of buildings to build. I think we'll start with upgrading to the workshop. Let's see how we're doing. So we have, what is this, delicacies. Do we have more ore, or do we just have the one ore? 
So we have the ingot. Ah, uh, but we have the calper ore, so we could get a upgraded smelter at some point. Not sure if we like these clay pits. We could destroy this one, put in an iron one, and get the machinists going. Maybe that's good, maybe it's not. Yeah, these guys went the clay economy, which we didn't go, because we can make iron. <coughs> we can make iron appear with one of our abilities. Spawn Iron Prospector. Yeah, the US was probably not expecting... Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with my throat, man. <coughs> I don't know if it's dried out because I've been talking so much, because I did the 12-hour stream yesterday. It's probably me talking too much. I did the 12 hour stream yesterday and then a few hours today. Man, that's frustrating. If that's the case. Uh, I think we'll try for Ulit. Looks like he's got a guy there, but that's not gonna... I don't think that'll be too much. Oh, it's a big fort. These guys as vets. Super vets. Don't like that they're focusing down one guy. Oh, that sucks. This guy actually hurts a lot. Maybe we made a mistake here. The cavalry is nice because it attacks the lowest guy, which means our, we are going to lose our spearmen here. Oh, that's unfortunate. We might lose both the spearmen. Yeah, we're going to lose both the spearmen here. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, we didn't lose them, lose them. They just routed, lost them. Hmm. We don't see any more roads coming out of here, though. Hearts of Iron Millennia. A little bit. A little bit. Where's the combat hearts iron with millennia? That's the that's the ticket. We could go for tenacity. I like tenacity. Lowers the the maintenance costs. Maybe we're supposed to spawn recruits or whatever. We'll send these guys on their way. So. I mean, I kind of don't want to use the Eureka. We could even raise army. But what he was saying regarding the meta was just using this local reforms, which all resources generated in a region uh, boost them for five turns, which if you only have one region represents a larger share of your economy, right? It's fine. Pike and a crossbow. Ah, uh, we could do propaganda. Reduces chaos. I don't even think that's that great. I guess it would. We ditch a strong chaos event, which would save us some gold, maybe. I think we're supposed to create a town. It's not really a town where we want to create, though. This city will actually be super banging. Ooh, I wish the integration was one of these. I don't know what we're supposed to get. I guess we could get Cutting Edge again. Two, two. Maybe the capital can add another town. I don't think it can. No, I can't. 
they're also at two towns. Nicomedia is not at two towns. I mean, we could just build a town here. It'll snatch up a lot of this dirt. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we do. I guess we'll get a couple bits of iron here. If we have the iron here, we can get, or the coal or whatever, we can get it over there too. Yikes. Alright, yep, yeah, we got wrecked. We did take out their walls, but then we lose in the, the second act there. Let's pull back. Still the cannon. Just a bunch of explorers. We can rebuild that with engineering XP. Guess that survives. This is rough because there's got to be a fort out there, but we kind of want to get this guy into the mix against Brazil. Did you push this age to get intolerance? Uh, yeah, we pushed for it specifically, and now we're kind of in catch up mode. this and then send back. Alright, let's take a look at some of our cities. Just checking if we're working any nodes that are less efficient or if we have any needs that are unmet. Like here. We have a need for holy site stuff. We can just rush the large temple, but I think we'll just switch what we're building. And then we'll just queue this up. Okay, every we have all our needs met. We do have a couple of tiles that are not getting worked, so... And we could get a bunch more food, but that's not really going to be useful. The prod's going to be useful if we get anything. Let's take a closer look at the city again. Or I guess a little bit more food will be nice. But we could use another logging camp. And then let's make another fishery, I suppose. I mean, we'll want a, a harbor as well. So... That should be put us in good kind of spot to expand. Here our problem is well actually we could solve this problem. Nicomedia didn't have really the proper spots to expand on. But while we are researching machinery to get the thing, we can come here. Make an iron prospector, but I think we'll just gather here and make the mine. That'll make copper and coal. And here, we'll find an iron prospector, actually. Prospect some iron. And then gather, mine it. So now these guys all have jobs. There's no one down here. No one down there. And Persepolis, and all your needs are super met. Here we need religion. We need to find ourselves. And that's going to be a little bit tough. We could do it through paper. Oh, let's... Hmm. Let's make sure everything that could set a foreign import is setting a foreign import. Yeah. This is the only one we could set, unfortunately. I don't know why that is. 
but We would like to more make more religion in here. I just don't know if we... Okay, so we need to do paper. So we need logs, actually. If someone sends us logs, we can make paper. Nicomedia can send logs just fine. They're exporting paper. Ah, now they can't send logs. Rip the dream. Well, we can make two log king camps here. And then we can make the paper ourselves and then make the thing. It feels pretty bad, but okay. And then we will get more... Ah, well, now we need... Oh, we're not working the almshouse anymore? Brother, maybe we should have just got it through the almshouse instead of trying to do this paper nonsense. Because we're only getting... And yeah, now we need paper again. You know what? We'll send this... We'll send this to... Boredom instead. We should have just exported the logs. But that'll give us enough paper to make the religious texts. Which will make our guys happy. And we could work the trash heap. That we don't have enough food. Hmm. Are the vats providing a ton of food? No. What was making the food? Uh, the olives. Well, our needs are more met like this. So we'll go faster. And now we've unlocked clock towers. Not gonna need them till we need luxuries though. <clears throat> oh, there goes Miami, the capital of the United States of America. All right, we get a good event. Religious track goods give extra bonus unrest mitigation. I think we'll do that. I mean, we could peace out with them. The US of A has been eliminated. Miami has fallen. Miami, I repeat, Miami has fallen. The dudes turned to barbs. You have Barbara. Um, I think we'll get in here and fortify up. Go for Brazil here. What are social fabrics? So this is like little bonuses that you can get for your country. Honestly, like they seem kind of small overall. Uh, but the improvement cost minus is actually kind of nice. Uh, I think the best one is probably organization. I we we had some wild card slots and we didn't dump it into org and now we're kind of regretting it. Oh, you know what? We have no religious stuff here, but we can upgrade this alms house that's currently getting worked. I'm sure it'll cause more unrest, but now we have our religious needs someone that. Uh, 
we'll take the warfare XP. We're trying to clear him out, so we just gotta attack him. I wish we could retreat into there now, but we can't. Hmm. These guys are coming back. We're hoping to use them to just kind of put down barbarian camps here and there. Just because I think they have more movement. So now we could send stuff out from there. And to be fair, this might be something where we can send out wood from. Although I guess we're using all of our logging for timber for the construction speed. This place is growing right fast though. We could ship food out. Ravenna, maybe we maybe we make Ravenna get food from well, we're working tiles here, so we don't like that. Why can't we work uh oh, because there's a guy on it. That explains everything. Hmm. Why don't we put these guys in Obarakum? But yeah, that's why they're being disrupted. But I think that we could export fish from here to Ravenna, and then export from Persephilus food to the capital. I guess the capital's kind of doing alright now. I'm not sure we'd need the alms house, although it is being worked, and I think we'd rather have the, the, that. This isn't being worked, so it's probably not a priority. I really like the way cities expand in this relative to Civ 6, I think. Okay. But we maybe push the culture and then add mill here. Uh, for our, we use the culture spawn military option. defended well. These guys will kind of slink away and recover up with. We could rush this, recruit this back up. Their walls are still destroyed. We still have the cannon there. Could also use volunteers as well on top of it. Get a pike, get two pikes and a crossbow. Get ready to push. Oh, that's not gonna cut it, my friend. Zero damage taken. Hey, maybe we have this guy help clear out stuff. I know we're sending the cap down eventually, but... And this guy can explore new lands. So we're gonna also just cruise this guy up. To here. Alright, we're using this, so we might as well upgrade it. Makes two meat and two leather. Alms house, we're not at max housing growth anymore, so we're gonna just do that. Which will make our growth go up a little bit. Hi, excuse me, you're excused. Okay, excuse me, what is that uh, cayenne rectangle overlay around the minimap? 
Uh, stream related, not in game. Yeah, that's stream related. That is normally where our cam is for our normal game. Uh, except, <laughs> uh, we didn't want to move our whole overlay or brick our whole overlay. Uh, which it's a part of our full, full screen overlay, which includes, like, all the pop-up stuff. So, yeah. That's what that's about. And after the, we can send the cab to take Washington after this, I think. After they clear out over here. These guys will grow big enough to actually need luxuries in just a sec, so why don't we do a clock tower here. So they'll stay growing nice and fast. We're gonna embark this uh, merchant soon. Travernum's, again, about to grow. I think we already have luxuries there, but that's fine. We just get a little bit more. Privy Council upgrade. So it looks like we need religion here, so we'll just go for a holy site. We need to find ourselves some religion. And we're starting to need more of that stuff, but... We're also coming up on being able to incorporate another place, and we don't really have an idea where we want to incorporate. Maybe it's here? Certainly got a lot of grapes. Alright, so... Spawn one pike, pike in each region. That's gonna... They're gonna just... It's gonna cost us so much laboring resources to repair everything that they're gonna destroy. So we'll just pay. Having a lot of money has been really nice. On that front. And then here we're on plus seven. So I think for our culture, we'll just use cutting edge. So bring this up to plus 17 to get more of those bonuses. Get more of them goodies. Um... So we didn't use our culture power though to make this army expand, so I guess we're going to be trying to slowly ex come in through this side, which will be fine. Uh, so the cavalry did not clear out the things, but these guys at Eberrakum, they can come in. They're of course rebelling both because it's partially occupied uh, and because the city guard's not there, so the city guard will return. And then we'll be sending back that way. We'll repair the furnace. Bounce. There's a chatter in here who's just really excited about boats, and he gets me on a spiritual level. Bounce. I think we come here... And then we embark, and then we kind of just follow the boat, because we know the coast is clear there. And maybe hope to do some stuff. It looks like we could use some sanitation here. So, we might just make a trash site. We don't need religion yet. Oh, but we could just upgrade to fountain. Yeah, that'll be fine. Capital can attack. Big nice. We might eventually want to trash heap here anyway, though. Two eighty-five to integrate a new one. Just kidding. We're nowhere near. I think what we'll do here, actually, is we'll get our last government empire reform. I don't think we want Galleon. Governor's office is only going to be temporarily available. Let's do this. So we can peacefully rev next time. Uh, 
Nice canoe, bro. <laughs> he survives the first cannon shot, of course. Keep those guys there. So we could wipe this. I think we will. Then the cavalry. We'll take out this, whatever that is. And is Ravenna properly working? No, we need another smelter. Why are we not furnacing more? All right, there we go. Let's furnace some more. And we are gonna need more religion. To be fair, on this, guys, we can export, we can export stone blocks. That's actually maybe a good export. Stone blocks export. We need more religion. Let's just go holy site. Oh wait, what were we going before? Were we going something smarter? Large temple. We were already doing it. We could rush it. Let's just do that. And then... Who needs more construction? actually might be the smallest of our cities so they would need the most construction or we could give it to Uppsala. Uppsala is doing okay though Los Angeles is not Los Angeles is having a time they're going through it I mean I guess we could ship it back to Persepolis don't know of anything we'd want to export with these guys, other than grain to be made into bread to be shipped back or something. Yeah, and here we wish we had more paper for the religious scribes. Um, and we don't have the logging. And this is Persepolis. I think we can make the logging now. So we just need more paper. I feel like we're, eventually there's a paper maker that makes more paper. Now we can upgrade mines, which is going to be significant for us. We'll do this. And then maybe upgrade all the mines. Is it also, is it mines and smelters? It's mines and furnaces. Got it. All right, where do we want construction the most? Maybe Ravenna even. So let's upgrade your deep mine so it works for iron. And then this converts. Oh, this just makes more money, huh? Oh, it converts to copper or to iron. So now we have a surplus. So 
So now we have double surplus here. What else did we unlock? Brickworks, sawmill, and very importantly, we could cut down the stuff. All right, so we could go Age of Enlightenment. I think we maybe, if we're gonna go guilds, we maybe pick it up here. Fortnite part slots don't think like they'd be don't seem like they'd be very good for us right now. I don't think we'd be gonna use jeweler. The winery improvement we could make use of construction. I don't think we need because we don't really need the catapult. So alternatively, we could come in here. Let's see, Inquisitor, religious school, decay of her heretic religion. We probably should have researched this to be honest. A mission improvement. Holy order. Cannon. Generates arts. Okay, I think we can just go Age of Enlightenment to be honest. Seems fine with me. This is our merchant vessel. The fact that the canoes can scratch us does feel bad. But the good old t uh, spearman taking down a tank thing of Civ 6, the classic problem. Okay, maybe we. Hmm. The trouble is I kind of want to use the cavalry to play cleanup, like around here and over here and this type of stuff. But I think now let's just send them down to do cleanup down here, because this is getting out of hand anyways. Because this guy is coming up to help push. We'll clear this out. So production on Ravenna is not going to be that good. A grenadier, that's that's going to be a guy. That's going to be a time. A grenadier. Now we can't upgrade, can we? No. Grenadier must be the offensive uh, tiering, but we could probably send the grenadier over here. Region idol. Nicomedia. Could upgrade to the lifting tower here. We're starting to run low on s a little bit low on some of these points, though, so I think I'm fine with this. I think we have more stuff we could build in the capital, and I think what we are building in the capital is not. Um, aren't we pushing? What are we building? I think we're pushing. Yeah, we're pushing treatises, which we don't need to do anymore. Let's do this in the ground theater, maybe something like this. We'll get Age of Enlightenment a little bit slower, but that's fine. Mm. Actually, the single Grenadier could handle this stuff off to the side. We'll come back here to heal and then we'll push. These guys can continue their movement. Ravenna, we'll just upgrade some more. Here. We'll upgrade Persephilus as well. What are we building in here? Clock tower. Oh, we got a couple things we want to build. Let's 
Let's do some of that. Salah's got some stuff we want to build. Using up most of our points there. Just looking for the new world here. Good news, although our scout got literally lost to chaos due to our hide innovation, we made spicy meatballs. Totally not related. Definitely not. But those were some very spicy meatballs. Also, those were some spicy meatballs. Okay, so, I mean, there are two stacks here. I guess we go into LA. Oh, wait, what's this? They were in LA? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? All right, well, we're on LA. Guess maybe it's changing hands. Let's put this down, but also in Persepolis. We need a trash jump. Or we're, ha we're having a bit of a time here, it looks like. So let's go here. Ah, we used too much of our things. Why is the trash heap so expensive? Where's the cavalry? Oh, we sent them down already. They shouldn't have dealt with this. It's looking like the, he's also pushing over this way, maybe. That still makes a pike and a crossbow. Grenadier is doing a little bit of work though. I think we'll keep the Grenadier on uh, cleanup duty over here. I mean, in theory, if the higher if he's a higher level, you know, we should be using him actually. But I think we say smell you later, these guys, a little bit. Hey, we met someone. Is that Russia? Looks like Russia. Discovered the new world. And then Persepolis. Let's make that trash heap we wanted to make last turn. So we can keep it growing. Get it, keep it growing. Ha ha ha, ha. All right. Um, I mean, we can push into them, it looks like. Is Pittsburgh in danger? I hope not. Kinda think it's in danger a little bit though. I think we want to do this so we can get to healing. Yeah, so we'll go back and heal after this. Looks like we're in good shape here. You 
You know what? Maybe. Maybe we do want this stone stuff. It'll only take us one week. Terborneum having some trouble with the food. Yet again. Hmm. I mean, he's growing at a good clip. Do we have anyone working? No, we don't have anyone working down there. We're getting some logs. Turn the logs into paper. I think. We might be being sent paper, too. You see the sources? No, maybe not. Yeah, we're getting sent paper. Make another paper maker. Hey, need some help in Vic 3? Uh, how do I know how a big army, how big of an ar army my nation could support, and what size should it be? So you, ideally you, I think the meta is to go for really soft expansion spots early, um, and that, uh, you don't need a very big army to do this. So I think, uh, a lot of the really good places to expand are in South America and, um, Persia and South Africa, and you really don't need a big army for this. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and push the army early, that would be my first initial advice. Uh, but the, the size would be big enough for what you want, and then there's a certain point where you turn a corner and wa start wanting to push around the GPs, and I would say you need an army power projection. If you're gonna micro and play well, you would want an army power projection that's, like, at least 80% of the guy you want to fight. With the understanding that you are winning if you outmaneuver them, and you're not winning without outmaneuvering them. That helps. Hopefully that helps. Um, to be fair, I think we want to be sending Persepolis. Let's send this to Trevornium instead. And then... Will we be starving here? Yeah, we we need the food here, and then so let's send from here. Let's send some fish. Uh, to Ravenna, which puts a little bit of a strain on our guy there, but Ravenna should be able to grow at a decent clip. Hey Germany, how's it going? Maybe I should have sent a diplomat with him. Alright, let's go into LA and just heal up. Actually, we could unpack the Trev if we think they're going to try and push us. This is what we'd want to do. <laughs> And we know we're going to be here a little bit, in it. so let's unpack the treb, and then we'll pack it next turn. God, we're going to get run down by canoes. Feels bad, man. Alright, let's go back to Age of Enlightenment. I mean, we could do local reform. <laughs> what if we local reform the capital? We could. Um, Terror Bornum's growing real quick. 
Because the Eureka is not going to be very good. Oh, I guess we could raise army. We were thinking of doing this before anyways. Kind of wish it was something other than Pike Crossbow, but... Maybe that's fine enough. I mean, we really don't need the that type of, like, we could just build it. We don't need a lot of construction to do it. We could go for cutting edge, so we'll have a better thing at the end here. I think maybe we're supposed to build it down. Mm. Well, this city's spectacular here. So with that in mind... Maybe we're supposed to build a town. Right here? We'll get a bonus on each of these if it's a mining town. And it'll expand faster. Doesn't really help us connect stuff. So I guess... Ravenna, does Ravenna have two towns? Ravenna doesn't have two towns. And so we could just town here in Ravenna. Oh no, wait, it, wait, where's the other town that it used to have? It used to have a town. Oh, did the town get sacked? No, oh, it has Eberacum. Oh, it had the town over here that, yeah, it had gotten, yeah, that got bopped. Okay, that's right. Um, still don't have a max level of town of three. So I think we are maxed out on all of our towns. Yeah, two for two. We could town up something like Thebes. Like, with Thebes, we could town right here. With the idea that I think this creates roads for our nation. That seems super underwhelming for a town. Also, I don't know if we want to incorporate Thebes, really. Not badly. God, now these guys are coming. Let's have the Explorer. Maybe the Explorer could take some of these guys out. Yeah, he could. Okay. I mean, we could just spawn an army right here. I think I'd rather just buy a cavalry unit or build it. You know, maybe we just go cutting edge anyway. Or, I don't know what we're supposed to do, man. Let's local reforms the cap. And upgrade all these. That we're using, at least. get a construction tower done. We'll upgrade to stone towers, maybe. No, let's just go Grand Theater after. Oh, we could actually use another pikeman there. We only have one frontliner guy. We're gonna keep these guys up here. Social fabric, I think we're gonna do expansion cost minus 10%. What the frick is this? I didn't want an actual push, I wanted a capital attack, man. I guess it's fine either way, but... 
What is this? Saw pit is gonna work more logs. I kind of like that. In which case, a saw pit would be kind of nice back here. And Nicomedia. And we can remove one of these for a saw pit, right? Now. Clear cut. Does this give us anything? No, it doesn't. But it would be nice for us to have a saw pit, so. Ah, uh, rip the dream. Next turn. We should just be able to crush them if they're coming in on us here. Alright, wish we had gotten that the other turn. Spawn one Inquisitor in each region in Rome? Sure, I guess. I don't even know what they do, but we'll find out. Hello, Frostbites. How's it going? What's your opinion on Millennia improved? Uh, has your opinion on Millennia improved uh, since playing so much? Yeah, I think the game's a lot of fun. Uh, I think that um, there are some aspects of it that might hurt replayability, which is that I think the AI is probably pretty exploitable. So once you like, once you kind of figure it out and you exhaust uh, like how much you're playing some of the stuff, then maybe like gets a little boring. I, uh, but they they could update stuff. In particular, the AI seems very aggressive and focuses entirely on building units, especially early on. Just not a very strong strategy. Looks like we maybe want to build another. Looks like we maybe want to build another Carrick just to take out some boys, and then we will build our sawmill here. Beautiful. We had a ton of extra lumber, and so that's going to translate to a ton of construction for us. Beautiful. You're just kind of pushing some stuff. Plus 20 culture. We're just going to get 20 culture in a bunch of spots. Bro, we'll just get to do another culture thing immediately. And also spread the religion. Seems good. So let's bring the Inquisitors over here, I guess. Let's proselytize. What am I doing? These guys can occupy the same tile. I'm just being silly. Bro, the transport ship can't enter uh, people's territory. That's stupid. The, the merchant who is on the transport ship can, but the transport ship itself cannot. Rip the dream, man. I think Uppsala is fully converted. So we'll bring these guys over to process ties over here, maybe. Let's convert everyone. Islam. Maybe we proselytize. I think we could come here and proselytize and get it switched away. Oh, here we'll just proselytize. Now we can rush our culture. 
with you in. Let's actually maybe rush it at the very end here. Let's get cutting edge. go that way, but we don't want to get clapped, so... Let's get him out of here. They build a lot of scouts. Ooh, yikes. Come here. Go after that. Push him out. Just checking how the streams are doing. Don't normally stream this late, but Phoebe's. Oh, we maybe actually want to move this guy somewhere else here, yeah. I think we could take this guy out, right? Field Explorer. Proselytize. Just overwhelmingly. I would hear we're not overwhelmingly. Religion. Let's come over here, I guess. And we have to go Age of Enlightenment. So we can proselytize, which gives us culture. This just removes a heretic. But we're still majority over here, Islam. I'm gonna move this guy up towards Persepolis and then see from there. This guy, I think, will proselytize because they have no religion. Don't have enough to integrate. I'm enjoying the stream, just lurking while I apply for jobs, the most fun of activities, bro. Applying for jobs is like... It feels bad, man. Cause you, it's like a volume game, but like... Yeah. It's a volume game. It's a rough one. Let's make sure we're actually losing unrest here. We're not. So we're gonna build this afterwards. We'll send these guys over here a little bit. Yeah, enough said. Yeah, basically. I don't need to tell you. Do not think you need me to tell you that, like, it's a, it's a mood. That is not the, uh, the nicest. <laughs> I think we come in here. We spread Islam, or it's spread Hindu.
really this event's super nice at the end of the uh, or during the age we're in right now the age of uh, intolerance let's soften these guys up I think we send the cannon over here. It sucks we only have one frontline troop there, but. Ooh, cavalry, no! Alright, the cav got clapped. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, sucks. We should have sent him back south. All right. I think we should be able to defend in Ravenna, but struggle busting there a little bit. Can we... Hmm. I would like to use the cannon now. This is too early for the cannon. Do be a vibe just marching these guys around. We know that this is strong though. I think we come here and proselytize. the other way. I forgot. Oh, this is a way for us to use capital attack. I guess I pack here. I think this will kill, maybe? No, maybe not. Alright, so we have eyes on where we want to get them to. Yeah, we can just take this guy out. Yeah, we'll have two crossbowmen here, which will be nice. For defensive purposes. Can we even take this out? Maybe we just come over here. Heal up. Okay, we can disembark here with the merchant and then send the merchant in. Persephalus. So right here, we upgrade that because it's being used. We can use some more paper. We could use a paper maker. Uh, we do have an extra log, so we can just... That's pretty comfortable uh, transition there. And that would help with our growth rate. So 
Maybe we maybe we get, grab the paper maker. All right. Needs are almost entirely met with exporting a ton of food. Fantastic. Just kind of cruise through. Sala, we could get more religion. Alexandria, we're crushing it. Ravenna, we're struggling, but that's because of reasons. Good idea. So you'd want to make a trash heap. We can upgrade these, I suppose. But we can't because we don't have space. But we could clear out stuff using engineering XP. We also, let's go tenacity here. Decrease upkeep costs. I think we're fine. Oh, maybe we didn't need this. It doesn't give any more XP for the searching. Yeah, okay, let's go stadium. What is that? Do the meteor hit? So pay 125 exploration experience or 750 gold. I think we'll pay the 750 gold. And I think we will send this guy to deal with some of these things down here. Ooh, yikes. I wonder if they can attack. Oh, it looks like they can just pillage. I don't think they'll be able to attack cities. Big Navy from Brazil, though. I think we'll shoot here. I think we'll toast these guys up. This city should be relatively safe with the two crossbowmen. Why don't we move the crossbowmen here, though? So we don't want to lose that town, either. We'll just fortify there. Come here. Heal up. Ah, we'll send this guy... How did this guy get all the way over here? How'd that get in there? How'd that get in there? That's actually pretty annoying because he can just raid everything. Let's look. Okay, it looks like we're we got that locked in actually. So we'll maybe bring this guy out. Send to Persepolis. This guy can proselytize. And yet another has been converted. Now we have culture power. Um, I think we're going to incorporate this at some point. So I think that we would like town. I think here seems like a fine spot. I 
Okay. Unload from transport. Let's unload the merchant. And continue scouting along. And I think we can finish off this guy here. City guard, all right, so. Considering it's getting sieged down, maybe we don't hate the city towers here. Uh, maybe that after. Maybe we'll actually just buy the city tower. I don't think we've shot for this turn. So let's rush it. Oh no, I guess we have. Let's go Colosseum. Colosseum is actually giving us two experience points and one of them is a culture. Maybe we should have been investing more in them. Sala, what's up, Sala? Okay, our dragoon got finished down here, no? So I think this one dragoon probably can handle the barbs, to be honest. So maybe that's all we need. Is religion done well? I honestly can't tell. I don't think religion seems too crazy. It, it just seems like, so far it just seems like you spread it and it doesn't do anything else other than uh, generate people being upset with you, but I, I also have a really low degree of confidence that I am correct in that. We should have bombarded first. That solves that guy. I think we want the insight. Let's see what the social fabric insight gives. Research cost, yeah, that seems pretty good. And tolerance, wealth per turn, eight. That seems like the worst, to be honest. Diplomacy seems really weak, but. There's a spread mechanic, but I don't know if it's doing much. This looks much more advanced than how we were before, yeah. The important thing about religion is we can spend the, spread the holy word of the crab. I should have done crabism. We're just Hindu. Crabism would have been better. The water looks very polluted. Is it an age thing? Yeah, it's because we're in a, the age of intolerance. We're in one of the negative ages, so it's all blood red or whatever. The entire map is like uh, textured red. 
The League Millennia does a good job of introducing new systems as the game advances, like specialist improvements, more complex goods chains. Yeah, it's Crisis 8. Yeah, so this is what I'm really excited about. Watching someone else play a, a little bit deeper. Give me appreciation for... Like, it's hard to make a game that I, it updates dynamically throughout... From, like, the Stone Age to modernity, right? Uh... In a way that's satisfactory, let's say. All right, I think we win this, right? God, that's so ugly. The boat's just in the middle of the lake. But we could load the transport in their territory once we... Whatever, we'll just walk around in their territory. Um, okay, so we could use religion or food. Let's go religion. I mean, we could go keep or barracks. I don't hate it, but I kind of want to just go research points now. We should have done that first. Oh well. I think this might be our next integration. I think we already said that, though. Knowledge. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we don't have the, the thing. <laughs> the Tide Lopez isn't ready. <sighs> bro, you don't even know me, bro. Well, we'll just do that so he doesn't kill our merchant. Don't bro me like you know me when you don't even know me, bro. Yeah, this has been... This is like a huge bottleneck for us moving troops, and I think we need to follow, be able to follow the road from here to here. Tactically speaking, I really wish we had a road here. So we might do that with a guy. This guy's trying to run away. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I think LA can fire first though. Yeah. Oh, didn't mean to do that. He's slowly losing life, but he's trying to heal back up. So he's just gonna eventually get wrecked. Yeah, just a huge bottleneck right there. Edinburgh, that's not a Turkish city. I guess it is now. Did we lose the music player? 
feel like we had music. And now we have no music. Music is gone. What's going on? Music player dying. Game breaking bug. It's actually, there we go. There we go. Mission accomplished. Sure have a lot of troops to churn through. Maybe we should be more focused on killing their troops, to be honest. Or us actually building new troops. Nicomedia. Nicomedia could build a catapult prior room? Where is Nicomedia even? Oh, it's down here. Hmm, actually. I actually have a need for more wood. Wild. Oh, cause, wait, what the hell? Oh my god, they sailed over. Alright, well, we said we might want to build more units, so now seems like a decent time. Huh? Huh? I think we think trebs are better than... Yeah, well, I guess we'll build a pike. That is a little bit annoying. Wait, when did he get to Stockholm? What the fuck? Bro, when did this happen? Where was I? Oh god, this is gonna become like a multi-front nonsense war. Maybe we just cause as much damage as we can here and then offer a truce. I mean, we didn't even hit the timing attack window like we wanted to. They just doubt us. I don't think there's a very good way for us to keep Stockholm alive. To be fair, it's not like an incorporated city, but... Oh, we get to destroy this outpost first, though? Yeah, buddy, let's do it. Alright, and then we say putty please. Do you want some please? Please in our time. I think this guy should be able to take it out. Oh, next turn, maybe. Alright. Actually... Fights do mean one Warfare XP, friendly unit involved per fight, Raiders doubling this, plus two is so crazy. Yeah, the Raiders seem just uber overtuned. They just... I don't even know how they got there, man. How do you march a, 
army all the way over here without us noticing. Oh, it was a fleet, and the fleet docked here, and then they went straight for Stockholm, and then another fleet here. We thought they were sending fleets down. They were sending landing squads down. That all makes sense, actually. Okay, that tracks. They just had way too much combat power for transports. I guess they had the higher level transports. And that's what that was about. Makes sense. You could use your milk speed to force march and delete the routed armies. What do you mean? Does that let us- oh, does it let us move it again? I honestly haven't used force march yet. I don't think we want to quite do that. Although, I do think we could build recruit- do recruits- volunteers here, actually. That wouldn't be terrible. Oh, it's just one pikeman now, I forgot. It is kind of terrible, low-key. Alright. The Kingdom and Ottomans are done with their war, that's good to know. Nicomedia. So I think we're gonna make treatises. If we think that the war is probably over. What's up, Sala? Us, us, like, making sure we clip every army is, like, less of a priority. We see that we're not maxed out on luxury anymore, so we'll just build one of these. Does style of music change by age? I think so. So, by him running away, I assumed he accepted our peace. Yeah. Nothing more to be gained from this war. You gained nothing. We just gained a bunch of cities. My guy. So government's fully, uh, kind of set up. So we can integrate another thing. Can even do organization. I have to save us a lot for it to end up saving us overall. Expansion cost minus another 5%. So the base expansion cost for this to be cheaper than the 280 it's gonna cost. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that ever makes sense. Kinda tempted to take uh, Manaus. But this place is much more Developed. But Manaus would expand, a, or well, we can't even take Manaus, so. We also have a few options down here that we could incorporate. Upland Valley seems okay. Maybe. Seems better than Stockholm. Could also incorporate this. Also gives us a lot more culture upkeep, though. 
but Oh, the, those weren't boats, those were units in there. Hmm. Alright. Can this heal? In the middle of the sea? I feel like it shouldn't be able to. But I guess I don't really know. Okay, here we are missing on food and housing pretty considerably, but we can put Alms House down. That's the housing. And then for the food, I think we just do this. Hunting camp. Hunting camp. And then since we have two meat, we cook with a kitchen, which takes two meat. Um, ooh, do these also give food? These do give food. So why don't we make these into large plantations? And we can't... Let's make this a... Uh, Oh, it's already right, the right town. Yeah, sure. But let's give this a large plantation as well. So we should be good on the food. And then... I think that we are sending out from the capital some amount of production. Now, where are we sending out the production from? Ravenna, I think, maybe then? To Persepolis. Let's send it to... Kerbita. Now, why can't we send that? Uh, probably because everything got wrecked. And so it'll send some production that way. Fantastic, but you want to send any more production? No, probably not. And the first thing we want is the thing that gives workshop, but we'll rush the workshop and then let's build a granary next. And so let's take a look. Persepolis, are you getting unrest? No, you're fine. Actually, we'll do, we need to do that for every city. Got a culture power ready. Ooh, cutting edge here. Spawn a musket, sure. Emperor's Palace, we could use some food here. I don't think there's gonna be anything that we could use to make food. Let's make a library. And one turn till the Age of Enlightenment here. So we'll be able to, you guys, uh, drink in the blood red map because it's about to, we're about to say goodbye to it. All right.
Completing your first public library building in the Age of Enlightenment gives bonus specialists. Secularism grows, preventing the founding of new religions and slowly converts religious populations to be non-religious. Uh-oh. From now on, two technologies need to be researched in order to advance to the next age. New national sphere is unlocked. Cool. Enter age. Your forces are too close. I suggest you send them elsewhere. How about suck it? Education. Specialists require... It's like a different type of improvement point? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So we have... To make a choice. And we could do anything. Okay, we've already done quite a bit in on the inventor stuff, but let's take a look. Scholars. Great library, education from books. Generates knowledge. Commanders, mercenaries, war priests. War priests? Jungle farm. Expand into jungle tiles, that's interesting. Mercenaries. This would definitely be the one if we were our playing Carthage. Inventors. This is kind of just the one I would generally want to be. Create an inventor's laboratory improvement that provides, produces inventions. Oh, that seems hot. Colonialism. God, that would give us a good sink for the Diplo, maybe? Adopt a minor nation as a vassal. It's not going to be useful as a power reel, really. Spawn a couple settlers. We don't even know of a place that we could settle, though, because we didn't explore well enough. Great masters. We don't know if there's a continent that's not settled, or if everyone's settled. Target a capital city to raise population by two. I mean, inventor seems kind of the way to go. Let's see sultans. The new palace. A lot of unrest suppression. Bastidic. Basilic, or rather. I think we're gonna go investors, or inventors, boys. Especially because we already can generate a lot of this stuff anyways. Fifty knowledge, one hundred specialists. We don't know if we want to get that yet. Alright. So... We can start getting specialists soon. Standing army. Well, grenadiers. Age of harmony. Global population following our religion needs to be 30%. Age of Aether. Need to get the other ones. Maybe we go Reason first.
creates a settler. See, I don't know if we... We can't even integrate the stuff. I guess we could go government. Influence. Our main throttle seems to be government experience. I don't see anything here like this government experience, though. Maybe go reason. Or, well, actually, let's come back here and take a look. We got our bonus from getting there first. Fishing fleets is maybe worth picking up. Let's do that. such a fat stack of these guys. Oh, we can upgrade the muskets straight away. I think if we push again, we're pushing from here. Or when we push again, sorry. The music's gone again. I don't know what that's about. to build a bunch of those. Oh, the music's coming back. Alright, 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 alright. We go Privy Council here. Actually, Museum. Let's do Museum. Museum up. Video, let's put a museum up. There's one thing that was actually just like such a small amount that we should just rush it. Yeah, this. Education, luxury, and a region level. That seems pretty good. And so were there other things over here? So a public shul, which we don't need yet, but it gives education. Which we maybe now need to work other things. We don't see any new kind of things, but... Alright. Onward. Onward. Dear friends, enemies, frenemies. Streetlights. I think we will like this. Capital 5 unrest suppression just in the capital? Or is that all capital? Oh, I forget it's all capitals. That's fantastic. Sure. Let's build a deep mine. Let's just kind of cruising through upgrading a lot of these things that we know we like. I think the almshouse is going to be nice because we don't have the max on that. I think we don't like the clay pits, but in general, in general. Oh, we're still Empire. 
That's right. But this run has just been very industry focused for us. Okay, I think we send the Grenadier away. Away up here. And this guy can clear out the riffraff by himself. I wonder if you can heal out here. Hopefully we don't forget about that guy. Prothletize time? Actually, LA is Hindu. Yeah, those are both Hindu. Build a Colosseum. Museum time. So we're going to be accumulating a ton of education everywhere. And I think they hate our guts, but... Or proceeded. that there's a city guard, you know. Let's see. Yeah, we're 100% Hindu here. But I guess we could use some Hindu over there. So, let's move some over there in LA. And Pittsburgh. We don't have too much innovation points. We have a lot of gold. Let's, or maybe not that much gold anymore. Hmm. Let's go cutting edge though. Sala just sends me every time. Let's do this because we actually the gov XP we want more of. Engineering XP we're maxed out. Shouldn't have let it max out. Uh, we can create inventions. I feel like the prime conductor is not going to be worth it in the long term. Let's do this. that. And this also gives us engineering XP now. Alright, uh, diggity damn. Let's go fountain. How much of this are we getting a turn? 40? Jesus. That's a lot. 
We might even want to start using some of the things. Oh, we could rebuild the town. No, we don't want it attached there. Bro. That's not where it was attached to. Can we undo? We can't undo it. The undo button's not there. Bro. It was attached to here. Blah. Blah. Alright, next culture thing we get, we probably... Uh... Give this guy a town somewhere. That sucks. That sucks. That really sucks. That was such a nice spot. Hey man, I know it might be off topic. No worries. Uh, but I wanted to thank you for all the content for Vic3. You're very welcome. I came back after a long time and was so lost. Yeah. But it can be definitely a bit overwhelming. Uh, sorry for bad English. I'm Italian. Your English is pretty good. People always apologize for bad English. I don't speak any Italian. You know what I mean? capped out at 300 here, so. Uh. Oh, we definitely want here. We could use more paper here. Could make a paper maker. Forgot we got that. You are very, very welcome. I was just thinking about buying Millennia since the demo got me glued to the screen for hours. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. We would not normally be streaming these hours. This is not our normal time slot. None of the regulars are here. But I just wanted to play more. And we had a stream game going and I didn't want to start a new game just for playing off stream. So that's kind of what's going on here. Got most of the stuff we wanted to do today, but done, but kind of wanted to do some other stuff. I guess we're kind of running out of time for that. What time is it? So, yeah. Maybe we just close out, do one more turn after this, and then we call it. Phoebe's. So supposedly, it's supposed to be nuking our religion to become non-religious. I don't see anyone becoming non-religious. One regular- yeah, that's true, Richard, you are here. You do be here. You're right, you're right, you're right. I take it back. We got a regular. Uh. Let's go reason, I guess. A 
Age of Ignorance. Age of Aether is an e interesting one. We could build a bunch of those balloons if we wanted to push that. I think we might just go Age of Revolutions, though. Kerbitia. I think this is the new place we got. Generally want to have a little bit of a bias towards construction. We'll do this. But I think that, yeah. Is that coal? It is coal. Kind of would prefer an iron mine, to be honest. But we can make that happen. <gasps> Oh wait, that's not what we wanted, okay. We wanted an Iron Prospector. Oh, that's a mountain, not a hill. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. All right, we'll try and remember he's there. Is that really the end of our turn? No. How much of this stuff do we have? We're on 130. Let's see if we can make sure that people have jobs here. So we've got a lot of people working on such jobs over here, and we could use more wood in here. I guess we add a chop chop. I guess we also probably just add ranch here. And we don't have a take out the trash place here, so we can probably add that. So they'll grow at a pretty good clip, I think. We could make a take out the trash heap for these guys as well. Let's make it in the desert. Ah, oh, we can't make it in the Sahara. Rip. Subalus is somehow not doing too hot on food. I know we're exporting those. Are we making more flour mills somewhere else? more flowers so now the food's coming in pretty good. Use more sanitation here. We do have a trash heap already. So we might get an upgraded trash heap at some point. Maybe we just keep on keeping on. Uppsala needs more religion. Well, we could, like, lock in on Alms House. We're getting... Oh, if we had one more logging, we'd be in really good shape. Right, because then we would... Oh, we need another paper maker. Oh, we would just need to do this. Yeah, okay. That's fine. You are very right, Richard. One regular is here. The chosen one. Uh, oh, we did want to take out Washington. Who's going to be the one to do it? I suppose... We'll send y'all to take out Washington. 
right next to the Grand Canyon. And I think we'll call it... Definitely got a couple of other things I want to do. And the day is, uh... The day is almost over. But did want to play some more of this. If it wasn't for time zones, I would be streaming 24-7, I swear, while playing Victoria 3. I lurked in your past streams while playing. Big nice. <laughs> yeah, but if it wasn't for time zones, I would... <laughs> I would probably start, like, way earlier if it wasn't for, like, me the waking me waking up as a consideration. You feel like the graphics would be better? The graphics are a little scuffed. Uh, graphics aren't very good. Gameplay is... I, I really like the gameplay, like, patterns. I think that the AI is really weak. I don't know if this will be... Uh, also, I feel like the balance is probably not there, but... Like, having all these, the... You know, caring about goods and running goods up the chain. Um, normally you get this with, like, city builder games, but you don't get this with 4X games. And so this fundamental, like, this thing has just been very interesting. Because normally we don't get this with, like, 4X games. And, um, I always feel like I'm misplaying as well, but that's... Guess we'll see how this plays out. Wow, you could use some... You have so much ore, but nothing... I didn't realize how much ore this guy had. Four copper ore? Oh, what's this deep mine over? Just a nothing? Oh, it's not even over iron. Okay, then the prospector, we can just put the prospector in on there. And he can make the iron appear. Okay. But yeah, that is, I think, the, the thing. <laughs> it's definitely the graphics. It's funny how we could force an Age of Intolerance super easy by just not being able to satisfy the religious need, but it was pretty bad for our growth in that period. Starting to get these uh, like mega cities too, which is super cool and rewarding. Yeah, I think the graphics is the biggest weak point of the game. Yeah, and like once once you get used to a game, like the your brain just filters out the graphics anyways. Like, I could turn the graphics on Victoria 3 way down and it, like, wouldn't really affect my, like, um, gameplay experience. This place gets so much... What are they getting all this from, I wonder? Empire, Town, Civic Monument? It feels like they're getting so much of this. I don't know, this game's, this game's been very entertaining. Also, I think the replayability in terms of the game mechanics and paths you can take is, like, considerable. Because we just, like, we went super in on engineering and we went with God King Dynasty Machinery Inventors. There's, like, a ton of different combos you could have that are not, like, okay, we went triple engineering. And so, like, maybe triple exploration would be an interesting one and that plays, like, way different and, like, this type of stuff. Or triple military. Uh, everyone says that the Raiders is super, super busted. This is what I've gathered from people. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to outro the stream. I think we said goodbye to the YouTube people second last time. So we'll say goodbye to them first. Bye-bye, YouTube people. And then the Twitch people, my favorite people, definitely don't just call whichever guys I'm outroing second.